In this video, I'll show you how you can turn these common monitors into an interactive digital whiteboard. I set up these two computers, and both are connected to the same LearnSpace session to illustrate that this collaborative whiteboard is multi-user. Here's the view of one of the computers, and the displays are on top. To start a whiteboard, click on this icon. The whiteboard opens up, and the first thing you see is the whiteboard drawing options. First, you can choose the thickness of the drawings that you make. You also have a typing tool. Just click where you want to type and start typing. After you've typed your text, you can size the font and move it around. Then you have the eraser, and the eraser erases whole strokes or whole boxes of text at the same time. You can undo any of the erases that you do just by clicking this undo button. Next to the eraser, you see the color tool. Four of the more common colors are shown first, black, blue, green, and red. And if you want to use different colors, there are a few more to choose from next to red. I'm going to add some yellow markings here from the other computer to illustrate what this next button does. Clicking on this first X will get rid of all the markings that you have made, leaving everyone else's behind. The second button next to that will delete all of the markings that are on the board. The whiteboard tool is useful on its own, but these drawing tools aren't limited to just a whiteboard. You can draw on top of screenshots or images that have been shared to LearnSpace. For example, if we were in a geography class, a teacher could put up a map and circle important regions that the class will be talking about. While this example may seem very elementary, many professionals use this tool in their collaboration, highlighting and drawing on key points that they are talking about. In another video, I'll show you how you can even use the drawing tool as part of the group survey or quiz. Important information can come out of these drawings, so don't forget to save your document with a drawing on it so that you can come back to the image when you are done.